I am only going to address this one time. So for all you YouTube trolls who like to screen record shit and post it on their channel and all that shit, you might as well do it now because this video will come down just like the last one, just like all my other drama videos do because I am fed up with it. So the elephant in the room, well, two elephants. One's almost dead, but the thief elephant. And then um, the other elephant is my Snapchat. Let's talk about that for a moment. Let's talk about how irresponsible I was and why I did what I did. So my birthday was last week, November 4th, and my girlfriend broke up with me on my birthday. I was heartbroken, like fucking dead. You know, we got into it, broke up. It is what it is. So, me and my narcissist ways was doing some over dramatic shit, like taking an unloaded gun. And pointed to my head on a private Snapchat that wasn't supposed to get out that I wanted to keep off YouTube. And I have been doing really good at not posting shit on YouTube. But that's not enough for you guys. Oh no. You see, after that happened, good old Brian Bailey, well he decides, let's screen record it and send it out to everybody. He said he only sent it to Billy because um, he didn't know what to do. Oh, so you're going to screen record a private moment and send it out to the trucking community where shit's going to get a little bad. And then try to put throw Billy under the bus saying Billy sent it out. So I'm going to have a little something for you guys here uh, Monday because I know exactly how this all went down. Especially when I talk to my boss and see who called in. Get the phone number from it. But anyway. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, so Brian sends this out. It was never supposed to get out to you guys. I am sorry for that. I do not want to kill myself. I don't want to die at all. Like, I'm good. I'm happy. I'm fine. I had a lapse of judgment. But let's talk about the other thing now. Good old elephant man, the one that uh, stole from Bubba, that thief guy, the one that begged you all for money for him and never gave it to him. But anyway, elephant man uh, decides to make a YouTube video, apparently. Now, mind you, I did not watch this video, but I've heard tons about it. And I didn't like what I was hearing. Oh, no. You see, good old elephant man decides he wants to reach for the stars. He wants to reach for those views. His channel's dying too, so what's he got to do? He's got to go through the sludge and pick out the one channel that hasn't done a fucking thing to him and accuse him of doing drugs. Okay. Now, part of me could see that with how I reacted with the gun. Totally get it. But then he goes on to say that he has proof. Now, don't y'all want to see the proof? I know I do, because, man, y'all be good with some Photoshop, too. So I would love to see this proof. So I only think that the proof he's got, the, like the only proof I think he might have is when I was in Illinois and Chris and I, Truck, Trucker and Review Channel, got in that argument and shit, um, didn't work out. When I moved... You know, Lexi had cleaned out the house, but apparently Chris found, now mind you, we moved, we emptied the house out, so this is just really weird for some druggies that don't, anyway, but he said he found a burnt spoon under the sink. Interesting. What a weird place to put a spoon. Burnt spoon for what? And now that didn't happen until after he heard that I got fired or not, yeah, I got fired and then I didn't get to go to my next trucking job over the false positive. The spoon was never there before, but it wasn't until after. So he wanted to build that context onto me because we got an argument, so he wanted to use it against me to start some shit on YouTube, probably. 
So that's where I think it is. But I could be wrong. So let's throw it on the glass, Hensley. Show me what kind of proof you got besides a burnt fucking spoon. You know, I have been minding my business. I have been literally working. And I think you guys think, or Hensley thinks, I'm on drugs because I've been losing weight. When you're towing cars, it requires physical work. And I know it's been a while since you've done that, Hensley. All right? Now, I am in and out of the truck 12 hours a night. Okay, I work night pit, night shifts, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. I go to the gym, I coach soccer, and I eat healthier. So, apparently, by me going to the gym, coaching soccer, eating healthier, and working 12 hours a day, apparently by me doing that, I'm doing drugs. Apparently by me losing weight, I'm doing drugs. Ah, common sense. Common sense. Now, you guys have seen me do crazier shit, right? I'm on medication. That day with the Snapchat incident, I did not take my medication, and I should have. My moods have been very chill. I haven't wanted to do any drama channels or drama, and I was actually going to leave all of this alone, but I just thought you guys had to know that this uh, this has this is just done. We're done. You can go on, make all your videos you want, Hensley, because the morons will believe you. All right, but to me, you know, you used to have an effect on me. But when I found out you were you were stealing, dude, I gave zero shits about you. Like anything you say now means nothing because you fucking you're a thief and i've never stole like you have so your word still doesn't mean shit and to brian i'm not mad at you but i think it was stupid you know if you're truly worried you could have just texted me or called but no you had to open your fat mouth and you had to spread it around to people because you can't just fucking leave well enough alone and keep shit in one spot. We could see you when you screen record, guys. We could see you when you screen record. And don't try to hide it because I know that's what you did. You try to lie and say you didn't screen record until I caught you. And then I don't know who the dirty laundry page is. Um, mission failed. I'm still working, mind you. But I think it's Brian's or Trucker Wilds. But I could be wrong. But I heard a really good theory. So, Brian, I don't know what your end game is. I don't know, like, why one minute you'll be giving me, like, vape juices and want to talk, fucking whatever. And then another minute want to stab me in the back. So, I'm going to just kind of keep my distance. Um, but whoever owns that page, cool. I'm glad I got a following. I'm glad I got somebody that worships me like a fucking god. <laughs> oh, shit, people. Goddamn YouTube drama. Thank you. Thank you. I was wondering how I was going to react to this. And I, I, th I thought about it long and hard for these past few days. And uh, it's nice to know that I'm still loved. It's nice to know that you guys miss me so fucking much. It's nice to know that without me, you guys have no drama. Because, you see, you guys have to go after the weaker target, right? You have to go after somebody that you know will give a reaction to. So I'm glad I get to be that tool for your YouTube. I'm glad you guys need me in order to make content. But I hate to say it. I didn't watch any of your drama videos. And I still won't. So you can respond to this. I just don't give a fuck. This is the last I'm going to talk about this. But thank you for bringing back some of the past. It was nice. So you guys have a wonderful night. Thank you for watching. Oh, and it, also, if you guys want to listen to a mental health podcast hosted by yours truly, go to www.myhousepodcast.com. Got a lot of great, great shows there. 
we're at what 300 downloads now that's 300 300 listeners like wow i was number three in the nation for the indie podcast for listeners that's not bad but um oh yeah and hensley that's how you make a podcast that's how you do that i know you said you wanted to do that but i did it better so you guys have a wonderful night thank you for watching fuck all those who stab me in the back Fuck all those who come over to my house and kick over my Kool-Aid. But um, I'm glad I can give you content. It's what I do. Have a nice night.